Merry Christmas, everyone. It is your Black Knight. As you can see, the tree is up. My Christmas jammies are on. And we're going to try to do something Christmassy in a game that's not very Christmassy. You know, other than the, other than the trees and stuff. I mean, you've got, we've got the, the trappings of Christmas here. But, you know, GTA, not a very Christian game, really. You know, there's not a lot of innocent kind of thing that you can do. But there is, you know, there are things. I mean, there is some stuff we can do here. What I've decided to do for this video is I'm going to try to do the snowiest thing I can do while snow is here. And I'm going to take the truck I built to be an homage to the Top Gear North Pole truck. And I'm going to drive it to the top of Mount Chiliad in the snow. Now, to make this extra interesting, I'm going to start off... Oh, look! We got our Happy Holidays from Rockstar bonuses. I'm going to start out in a public lobby, which is dang near suicidal nowadays. With the number of modders and griefers and... That's actually not a bad cargo. That's not a bad mission. It's a little bit bad because you have a lot of flying back and forth and some boring. But, we're not doing any of that. We're going... To to head right for the mountain. Just, just warming the truck up here. Hopefully, there's nothing really horribly offensive in chat as things go on. That, that sometimes happens. I'm not carefully watching the chat, so Merry Christmas and please, guys, please be nice. Technically speaking, as I'm recording this, it is uh, the 23rd. Or as uh, my good friend Steve likes to call it, the night before the night before. Or the morning of the night before the night before. It's, 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 it's early in the morning on a, on a Wednesday. So, not sure what we're going to get here. The snow has made everything so nice and quiet. I don't see the train yet. Okay, naturally we're going to start out trying Ooh, it didn't roll that's good we're going to try the G Fred hot lap route in the snow which is quite the challenge and I'm not confident I have zero confidence I'm confident we'll eventually get up there, one way or another the Everon should have even if we have to go a different route we have to take a trail we should be able to get up there but I want to see can we do the G Fred hot lap in the snow. That's this is a challenge. In between the trees. Woo! Gotta keep momentum. Now this gets way harder as things happen. If you're going uphill. Let's see how steep that is. Come on, Everon! Show us what you got. The last kicker. This is the toughest part, right here. And then, uh, oh wow, I really did that very well. Okay, come on. I tell you what, I just did this in the uh, in another Evron on my rusty Jack character that had more stuff on the, the roof racks and stuff like that, and that thing was flopping all over the place. This is nice. This is this has got some. Moxie going for it here. We're going right up. In the snow. The snow on Chile had breaks men in a snow, Fred. But if you can get an Everon, well, I don't know about a stock Everon. This is not a stock Everon. This is a juiced up Everon. Look at that. Okay, we're going to make the the G Fred maneuver here last night we couldn't quite have the angle on that and this is where if you don't know what a G Fred is as always link in the description to the what is a G Fred video bang that would have gotten the G Fred uh, checkpoint and now we'll go back down we you know before we even go back down let's let's go around here 
we're not in a race. Let's just try and truly get this truck as high up as we can. To the top of the world here in GTA Online. I don't know that I could get up on the, uh... Oh, we're flopping down. Nope, 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 nope. Stop it. Stop this. No flopping. We're going up to the highest point. These rocks are proving problematic. And we're really upsetting that poor woman. I don't know why. Okay, we made it back up here. I mean, technically, I just want to get that last little bit. I don't think it'll fit up the stairs. I mean, that's kind of an obvious thing, you know. A little bit around. A little bit around. Up the top of this rock. And then... And it's the perfect way to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope you're all having a wonderful and blessed Christmas. I know it's a stressful year. It's been a... It's been a tricky time. But we're here, we're here at Christmas, and all the things that go along with Christmas are still there, they're still real. All the meaningful stuff is still there, and you gotta just hang on to that in your heart, my friends, and we'll get through everything here. So, have I, have I delayed going down the hill long enough? No, not at all, let's do this. <laughs> let's look through the telescope for a dollar. And you really can't see much. Okay, I guess that's that's as much delay as. Look at the look at the fine you know suspension travel on this truck. Isn't that that's great? That's just. All right, all right, all right, fine. Let's, just, let's do this. Let's go down. Okay, that wasn't the way we want to go down. That's not the route. No, 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 no. Now we have to go up again. Come on, everyone, show your true grit. Okay, so we made it back to this trail here. <coughs> and now we're okay, we're gonna try and follow the G Fred lines down here. We're gonna. Brakes on this truck, not a strong point necessarily. Crawl it down this way. Okay, we turned, I think, a little too early. We turned a little too early. It's not going well. Oh dear. Uh, this wasn't the way. This is not the way. You're going down helmet off. This is not the way. Mandalorian reference. Okay. Uh. Okay, everyone. This this is okay. This is going to show the true grit of the Everon here. Ugh. I am losing armor <laughs> and health and uh, That's my Christmas armor. I just got all the armors. All right, we're all right. Ugh. Bits of everything, or oh, it's the train. Can't take a hit from the train. Merry Christmas. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That went a little bit easier than I thought it would. I figured this would be more of a struggle, but this this set of wheels has done me good. It's not very stuckable. Mm. 
Very nice. She will do Top Gear proud. Wee. 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 All right, let's get this back. I may open up a couple a couple Christmas presents for myself down at the arena, but how am I gonna get there? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's not a street. Excuse me, guys. I'm just, just sliding around here on the snow. Have some water. And back in. I've got an idea. You know what we need to find out? And this would be a very Christmassy thing to do here, I think. Because we're going to pay homage for the people who have to work on Christmas here. We're going to. And as you can see, I have a number of other vehicles I could take up to the island of the snow if I wanted to. But I, I, we've, we've done it. I'm confident in all the vehicles. Except that one. That I don't think would go the well. But instead... Instead of doing the same thing over and over again, like, what was the point of that? Let's take a limo ride. In a public session. Which, that can only go well. Let us set our waypoint. That's, that's somebody's sub. No one's going for that. That, that... That battle is still going on. All right, I'm, not, I'm not going for it either. This is Christmas. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let somebody else have it. And we're gonna go all the way here in a limo. And we'll see if we survive. There's Ms. Baker. There's Ms. Baker. Always on the clock. Limo service. Sure thing. Limo en route. And it's like instantaneously there. We got the black one, so at least we have a good contrast with the snow. We're going to tell it to start, and we're going to tell it to hurry. Okay, how good a snow driver is a Los Santos limo driver? My goodness, he just runs a guy over. Did that guy live? He's he's taking a nap, I'm sure. Well, that's not very Christmassy. There was there was there's no reason to hit that guy either. This is. Is this because of the snow? Did he break and then not? What is he doing? Okay, this might be more psychotic than I realized. It looks like the theme of today is nothing is going as I'd expected. Which, I mean, on the plus side, I do fully expect to get blown up. I don't know if it'll be by a missile from a uh, from a, a submarine or a, an oppressor mark douche. Um, you know, we'll just have to see what goes on. Okay, you missed that guy. He's gonna actually have to turn the car now a few times. In the snow. Wow, that looked like actual throttle control. Throttle control is good, yes. Bruh, this lobby going wild from Robo Warrior 817. How? So we're in a, a session gone wild. Let me cruise along. In, so this this should be the interesting thing here. Yeah, it's a good thing he's hitting cars to slow down as we go through the turn. That'll that'll help. 
See, that helps, because we, we were going way too fast to make that turn. Zoom. We're completely in the wrong lane. Of course, maybe he's playing, you know, the classic Pennsylvania game, Am I in a Lane? That's the, when you can't tell what's going on because of the snow. The tank is gun, W. The classic extra W when you start walking after you're still talking. That's Wee. I'll be honest, I would have expected him to roll it by now, but no, not yet. That's going to be the game we're going to play here. Will he roll this or will he actually get me to the destination or will we get blown up? I have no idea. If I pop the map to look at who's around, it stops the car. So we're just going to let him wreck a Regina and... Uh, Okay, so this is not as Christmassy as I would have hoped. Although you would think a limo ride would be a nice thing to go on Christmas. You know, that's... Maybe not this year, but I mean still, you know. As we zip along... Yeah. We're building up some good speed now. Coming up on a gas tanker. Oh, we just missed. Oh, we missed the gas tanker, but we go right into a uh, another Regina. We're hitting those Reginas left and right. Poor guy's just out trying to get some last-minute Christmas presents. It's all my fault. I told him to hurry. I really was expecting us to ride that guardrail the whole way around there, but hey, we're, we're doing okay. We haven't gone into the ocean yet. That's... So we could probably go inside the car. About your patron, on Christmas, of course not, but I'm not talking to you right now. I think we're always thinking about, oh my goodness, what are you doing? <laughs> what was that? New strat, why do you keep killing me? Because it's GTA and it's what people do. Changing lanes and doing things. And... This will be a good test to see if uh, the crashing problems I've been having the last while are directly related to the KO Perico, or as I like to call it, the KO Pectate Heist. Because so far, we're, we're holding up pretty good. Computer was shut down overnight. That was the other lane was wide open. He just decided to crash into somebody. That was is it, let's. Let's go back up. We can see the snow flying. We're downtown now, so we're getting in range of some people who might just say, "Hey." This is what are you? You're just gonna kill that girl for no damn reason. What? 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 Unbelievable. Oh, carefully taken turn. Okay, well, this is. It's looking like we might make it there. Certainly within walking distance now. He did roll it! He did roll it! And now, what are we doing? Where, where is he going? Uh, 
<laughs> wow! That was impressive. And now what's he gonna do? Like, what you gonna do? I'm gonna stand behind this concrete barrier. It's like you wanna follow him and see how he goes, how he makes it back to the, uh, I imagine he goes all the way back to the, to the casino. You'd think. Let's go workshop level B2. And if you watched my last video, you know I got a couple things for free. Not these things, not that thing. This I still need to come up with a good plan here, but at least it's it's upgrade. All these are torqued up, but the, the new ones we have an Itali GTB. Now the Itali. It's on a radical sale right now. It's only a, a couple hundred grand. Normally a multi-million dollar car. We don't want to upgrade it. We don't want to upgrade it because that's not the car we're looking for. We are going to armor upgrade it. Brace break it. Front bumpers. Stock bumper with hook. Ooh, that's a... That's interesting. A little bit of a... Not as attractive. Yeah. yeah, all these canards. I think I can go stock bumper with hook. My toe hook. Rear bumper. Primary camber diffuser. What's a touring diffuser? Kind of like the the camber diffuser. That one. Engine fully upgraded. Exhaust. Chrome, titanium, slotted exhaust, you can do that. It's a shorter distance, it's coming around the engine, but does it, is, is it more efficient there, do you think? Needs more exhaust. <laughs> Just all the exhaust, all the time. It's tempting. I think I'm just going to go classic chrome on this for right now. Maybe I'll decide that it needs more exhaust later on. Chrome stripe hood. Top vented induction hood. That gives it a little bit of character there, too. That's... More lights. We're going to put a neon kit on this thing. Neon... No, we don't really care. We're going to put the front, back, and sides on for right now. Because that lowers the center of gravity. Per roughly 1322. Thank you, good sir. Custom mirrors. I like the stock ones. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Those are a little plain. Those are a little bit... Woo! Which do you think is more? I think those are more aerodynamic, so we'll leave them. <coughs> Not to run up. Respray. Now, because. I mean, I'm open to almost anything here, but because. I'm mostly doing this because Bruffy1322 goes on and on and on about how much he loves this car. And yet, he has his is, is red. I, I really feel like the fact that he's abandoned Bruffy Orange as a color is just something that breaks my heart. So we're going to do, do this as a Bruffy Orange homage. If I can find the right... Did I pass everything off? Am I, in the, I, did, I missed it. Okay. At least what I think is Bruffy Orange, because it is a secret. That's Sunset Red with a Sunrise Orange Pearlescent. Or maybe the opposite way. I forget. That looked bruffy orange enough to you in this light. It's a little subdued, but that's okay. Salmon pink, no, sunrise orange, sunrise orange. That's the, that's the trick. 
pull the cat out in the snow and we'll see how it looks. Secondary color is currently a classic black. You could go uh, metallic black, but then that will transfer the pearlescent and it'll look a little bit, well, it already does look a little bit orangey black, so we might as well go metallic black. It says it's that too. Okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna keep we keep the black going for the roof line so it'll flow from the... Is that carbon? That's eh, a carbon thing. We might change that anyway. So we go metallic. Sunset red. Then you get a, a, a uniform. That looks good. Then we'll end up putting a carbon roof on it. Roof. Carbon striped roof. Oh, that works. Whole carbon roof. Not nearly as cool as the oh secondary striped roof. It's an inverted kind of thing. I think a carbon stripe on it. Just for the How would that even work? Would that be like metal with carbon in the middle? Just be carbon over the top. Let's let's not that's the engineer in me is saying that's not a good plan. Skirts. Carbon GT skirt. Carbon GT skirt just to give it a little bit. Spoiler, tuner wing. I don't generally don't want to go crazy with these. Because that could make it a little more tail happy. We're gonna go right we'll go just for a regular old tuner wing. Which looks like it's got a little bit of carbon there anyway, so that'll balance off the whatchamacallit. Transmission, race me up. Turbo me. Wheels. Wheels. It's snowing out. Let's go off road. Um, do I go stock grooms and then try to make it more? No, let's go chrome. You've got more options now. They've had, added some more on certain cars, I've noticed. It seems like there's more. Oh, this doesn't look like they're there. What are those other off road options? Stopping at Mill Spec Steely. He was only in muscle, but I don't know. I'm all confused. Well, you know me, I always go with the Amazon wheels. Which you can get from Amazon. Ah, but the Nevis. The Nevis looks really good on this. Uh, tires. Tire design. Do we want to all-terrain radial on them? Maybe not. Tire enhancements, definitely. Windows. A little light smoke is a good thing. And then there you have it. Let's exit the arena. I want to take this out. It's already coming up on evening, but that's not that's not a bad looking car. You got like you know a license plate that has all those zeros in. Woo, no move, no move. Okay, we're gonna... Not like the best day I try out the full performance of a car, but it is surprisingly stable in the snow. See you at the knitting circle. All right, we've documented that thing. We've looped it back in backwards. I still think it might be race yellow over sunset red, but I like I like this one. It's a little bit more subdued. It looks good. Now, one of the free cars that we did get was this Brioso 300, and we have to we're gonna mod this up. I'm not exactly sure how. Like what's it going to be? I know the bodywork we can remove, remove reflectors, which that would be a safety issue. Remove reflectors and trim. Remove all and just make it completely plain. Well, that just seems. I like details. Let's do race brakes, bumpers, front bumper, remove bumper. Well, you can really make this completely new if you want. Basic bumper, classic bumper. Retro bumper. What's the difference between a stock front bumper? Retro bumper gives you the uh, the Euro tag on the front. Rally de Paleto sounds. 
with a 42 on it. Rally de Paleto 1, Rally Lights. There you go. That's it. That's the one. Rally de Paleto 2 with the classic bumper, the Rally Lights, and the 42. Meaning of uh, life, the universe, and everything. Stock rear bumper looks pretty good. Remove bumper, 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 bumper. The retro bumper has big bumpies on it. Uh, the, uh, the stock looks a little bit more uh, more elegant. We're going to leave that alone. Engine block. Look at <laughs> six cylinder upgrade. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's ridiculous. I wonder if this affects the uh, the weight transfer of the car. I guess it's still a big engine. Ha <laughs> I guess it would be more likely to be turboed if you're six cylinder upgrade and engine tune it. Exhaust, twin exhaust, chrome exhaust, twin chrome exhaust, rally exhaust, okay. The blast pipes or the Chopin kind of. Why would that be a rally exhaust? Anything going twin chrome. Fenders. Plastic arches, carbon arches. I wonder if the top opens. Does it have st arches on the. Hey, keep it stock. We're gonna, you know. Out of the arches, hood, hood rack, hood luggage. Popped hood. You have a permanently popped hood. Racing hood. Which is no hood at all. Well, that looks cool, but it's not calling to me, believe it or not. Something tells me like the hood these are these are spoilers. Yeah, you can see that it, with with uh, with this is what your spoiler option is, is the hood option. Hood rack with luggage. I mean, that does look mostly like it would be an actual spoiler-ish kind of thing, although it's flat, so it doesn't really... Yeah, you know, the air comes down. Hit press on it. I think we'll take the luggage. Lights. We're going to give it a neon kit. For performance purposes. I have no idea. I have not yet seen the, you know, the the true Bruffy testing is not going to be out for a while. Livery. Okay, black stripes. I have, by the way, I have no idea how, what I'm going to do with uh, this car. No point having 22 on the side and then 42 on the, the little plate. 69. I guess there's always a point for it. Never mind. Um... That's kind of neat. You got the, the the girl and the racing checkers. This is a, be a car with forty two and sixty nine on the same thing. And we got the Raga Rum. That's a, that's that's attractive. It's good looking. Union forty four. These are some nice liveries. Pole position. <laughs> That works particularly well with the stripe going down the middle of the, of the car. Not perfect because your leg doesn't go around. The th you know, there's physical possibilities things going on here. That's still not bad. But is the Raga Rum one better? Or the Union? F They're all good. Yeah, let's go with the pole position the hell of it. Let's just see. Plate, we're gonna leave alone. Respray, I really am not really sure. I feel like a classic color. The cream kind of looks nice. 
of all black night today. I think colors for this car, like what would fit? That's really kind of nice, the light blue. Ultra blue. Racing blue. Diamond blue. Diamond blue looks like it really fits the vehicle, doesn't it? Just a little bit. It's Italian. Any kind of pink or red will work here. The red's, you know, not pink. Candy red. You can go with a grace red here. If you go with red, Torino red or something, then it's Italian and it matches the, uh, the checkerboard almost perfectly. Silvers, black. Black, if you put black on, you lose the lines of the car. I think it needs... So I'm going with classic. Secondary color might be the same thing. I'm going to leave it, I mean, might leave it at ice white, or I'll go at light blue. We're going to two-tone it. Classic Ice White. The roof. Fully painted roof. I don't know. I kind of like the stock roof with the uh, potential for a sun, you know, a sun roof. Top down. Oh, there you go. But you have to set the top down all the time. It doesn't open and close. This looks like the same roof with different names. Full top, the whole top wide open. So let's, let's, I, I like, I like the quaintness of the, of the uh, primary sun strip. The pole position adult lounge. I don't know. Oh, wait, is that from uh, GTA Vice City? Is that what that's from? Oh, you can see it's behind there. Pole position, adult lounge. That's so not Christmas. Ha! That's from a different GTA game, I think. The pole position. Alright, that's... That's weirder than what I thought it was. All right, let's see. Do we want to consider something else? Probably not. Suspension. Slam it. That was a good to race suspension. Trunk. The trunk is the front. Ooh! Is that a thought? That sets off the graphics better, but that kind of does the flow of the two tones better. Let's do that. Let's do that. Turbo, absolutely. The wheels, the only thing I'm going to change on these. And I could, you could really probably have fun with it because if you go wheel type off road, they're going to look hilarious. And they might help with, actually help with handling, but. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go tires, make them bulletproof. That's all we're going to do. I keep it that quaint stock look. Windows, a little light smoke. I want to look at deliveries and see if anything looks better with this blue and white. Fukuru tires. That looks kind of good. Everything looks a little different now. Grotty stripes, hardly ever notice.
The drag of rum takes away the secondary for the most part. Nothing really works. That's just what we're gonna we have to be. We're just gonna have to be a completely inappropriate car. That's just how we're just gonna have to be with this. Now we exit the arena. It is struggling a little bit with the snow. This this does not feel like a quick car. Like, I realize that it's snow. But this is all turboed up and everything. Like, uh, you know, I realize that we need to do proper testing here and we can, we'll see what, what Ruffy1322 eventually says about it, but this does not feel really quick. I mean, maybe it has some kind of huge off-road... I mean, it's supposed to be kind of a rallyish kind of car. You wouldn't think they give it a huge off-road traction loss or some kind of a deep snow affectation. Not, not quick. Hmm. Easy question: getting two of them for radical modification on my other. Uh, Count. And then the last freebie we have over here, other other character. Now I know this one has some radically inappropriateness to it if we really want to go there for Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Front bumper is stock secondary, so we can sticker bombs, excess. I do like the rally. What is the drift nose? Okay, we could put turbos, intercooler kind of stuff on it. Do we want to do a rally build or do we want to do a drift build? This will go rally. Rear bumper. And we'll leave it stock because, you know, the, the front still. Wait, so we'll keep we won't go wildly secondary on this. Chassis Street half cage, dash dive, full padded roll cage, race car kind of thing. Engine exhaust. It's the same exhaust, only different colors. Fenders. Yeah, you can do all kinds of Real headlight wipers. Oh, there you go. Headlight tape now. Uh, headlight wipers. That's just so much. That's so more beamery. Ooh, lights. We could do all the all the lights. Now we've got enough enough rally going on here. We've got we've got headlight wipers. How can we not? Hood lifted. Hood lifted. Is this like not closing properly? <laughs> Is that a thing? I, I don't know. That's the XS hood. Okay. We're going XS. Let's go for an XS build, I guess. Lights, neon kit, neon layout bang. Livery scene kid. Faux rust. <laughs> douche. It's douche rally. Douche. That begs a different paint job, though. You can see. Zero to Hero. We could give it a Ron livery. If we give that a diamond blue on it, that might be, that might be the fit way to go. Drift Predator, no. 2D Relationship. This is how you get the pillow in it. This is the one with the pillow in the back. Rockstar Games. No, I think I think we gotta go Ron Racer with this one. How can we not? Respray. 
primary. Metallic. Okay, where is that? Surf blue. Need surf blue. With the diamond blue pearlescent to do it in the official fashion. I think that's what it is. Isn't it surf blue? Isn't that, that's the standard run. If I'm on, you know, then, you know, I'd say comment in the description, but we can't do that because of copper laws. And I've got everything set to kid friendly. So we're just going to do that's That's certainly close enough. And in the lighting, I think it'll look brighter. Like, I mean, we could go to primary and metallic metal and look for something different. Like, that looks good, but it's not, you know, light blue. Just do a diamond blue with a surf blue for a little bit. That was, maybe that's what it was. That looks a little bit, you know, it looks good. It looks, I think I like that better. I'm going to go with what I like. That's what we're going to do. Secondary color. Metallic. We're going to... So right now it's metallic black. You can see there are elements of... But what if we find... Where's the oranges? Go bright orange. See, that's calling to me more, a little bit more on it. Trim color. I think we leave that graphite for the inside, don't you think? Something tells me, look, I don't know that you can get an interior of a BMW with, you know, not a big galaxy glass. Maybe something in the bronze. You see in that. Your saddle brown. There it is. You know, that doesn't really. It's not. It's not matching as well as I'd hope. Yeah, bleached brown interior. Yeah, let's leave it black. We'll save the dollars. Roof. Primary sun uh, sun strips. Carbon vortex generators. Secondary vortex. Bike rack. Bike rack with lights. That's not a bike on the top. Secondary louvers. Oh, let's go with the secondary louvers, don't you think? Skirts, secondary. Oh, we can change that to a secondary. That is nice. I'm going full up Ron on this baby. Spoiler, classic. Classic spoiler is classic. Secondary classic. Ooh, that's very good. I like that too. Sport. I like that they're not completely over the top, but... Ooh, the XS spoiler. This is really... I kind of like the two-tone spoiler. Let's go with that. Suspension. Slam this puppy. I'm back to slam and suspension. I don't know why. I liked some ground clearance before. But for, for right now, I'm just... Slamming it. We'll see what happens eventually with... The thing wheel type definitely gonna go. Yes, we're gonna go off road with this stock rims. And this car has the other options police issue steelies. Must be a car based on the car avalanche mountain man. Conga flat six. Concave rally master. Which almost has like a rugged snowflake. I like the concave rally masters on this one. Wheel color, obviously. I go with the light orange if we can have it here. Bright orange. Tires. Tire design. Oh yeah, we have to go. This will beg for it. Tire enhancements. Tire smoke, obviously. Orange. Windows. A little smoke, but not a lot of smoke. Exit the arena on this puppy. 
Into the night. Come in the day. Okay, in the day is good. Ooh. Now that feels pretty good. It's not the snow slowing stuff down. Oh, come on, that was pretty good. I didn't even touch her. She's all upset. No, I'm not going to screw with anybody's stuff here. We're not going to do that. That's not even a thing. But we're going to figure out what we're doing here. That does look nice, though, doesn't it? Classic Beamer Rally kind of setup here. Let's see, I don't see yeah, We'll put it back in on B2. I don't think I have any other cars to update for right now. And, you know, here's a Christmas thing for you. Here's a Christmas thing. Ready for, ready for the Christmas thing? Let's just step outside for a moment. I want you to see the Christmas thing here. Are you ready? Ugh! That wasn't it. Okay, I stepped a little bit off the curb. I didn't rose because of the snow. But, that wasn't the Christmas thing. My point was, here we are in a public session for this whole video, and no one has tried to kill us. What kind of Christmas miracle is that? You'd never see that. There's been no modders. There's been nobody trying to shoot us. It's just fantastic. I think that's a wonderful point to, uh, to leave this video on. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And may all your holidays be bright and happy. And, and uh, on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.